a small town with a deep pride in growing its heritage as well as the town itself. That is what New Haven Mayor Steve McMichael said during his State of the City address today. Fox 55 Gunner Tuxera joins us live from downtown New Haven with more about it. Gunner, is the mayor also planning something for veterans? Tara, not only does Mayor McMichael hope to honor veterans and former military and current serving military members, but also pay tribute to first responders. And that all comes in the form of the Boulevard of Heroes. Now, I'm actually here where it will be set up, and on this side will be towards for, uh, firefighters, police, EMS, on this side with lights and decorations, and on the far side of the road will be for military members. This is all part of the mayor's speech that he gave during the State of the City, in which he goes on that New Haven not only wants to honor its people, past and present, but also give mark and memory to its heritage. Soon, you'll be able to walk, ride a bike, or drive along the Boulevard of Heroes, a tribute to not only those who serve, but those who have served. The Broadway Corridor will bring the past and present in New Haven together, from the rich history of Snuffler's Veterans Memorial Park to the Boulevard of Heroes. I'm proud of our heritage, and I hope you are too. Mayor Big Michael goes on to talk about how it is important to not only show appreciation for first responders, but also helping and improving their ability to serve the people. In the last three years, New Haven has expanded the fire station, added an engine, fire engine, and multiple ambulances. Now, the state of the city had a lot to talk about, and to see a full report on what was all discussed, you can go to our website, WFFT.com. For now, live in New Haven, I'm Gunnar Texera, Fox 55 News. Tara?